people, the first thing you see, which the first car took him only a matter of seconds. I saw a bag, it looks like a purse on the passenger floor. When you have items like that, it makes you want to break into a car. And that's what thieves are looking for. They're looking for the opportunity of breaking into your car, taking belongings of yours, laptops, purses, wallet, cash, anything, uh, and then once you take it, to sell it, and then either get money for it, most likely, that's the idea. So what you want to do as a citizen is protect yourself at all times. So when you have valuables, like a laptop, a purse, do not leave it in plain sight where a person like me walking by can peek in and see those belongings. What you want to do is hide those belongings out of sight, out of mind is the idea. So the one thing is your ownership, I don't know if people are aware, but your ownership has your home address on it. People will leave their ownership in their vehicle. Plus, believe it or not, this may sound crazy, but people also leave spare car keys, they leave spare home keys, all in their car. So I can simply break your into your car, take the spare car key, drive your car to your house, take the spare house key, and then break into your house and take your belongings. That's how easy it is. People have to understand, do not keep valuables in plain sight. Hide those items, take them with you, but do not leave them in the car. Because remember, what I'm looking for as a, as a thief, I'm walking by, I'm looking for that easy target. I'm also looking for the reason why I should break into your car. And if, you, if I could see things, that gives me the reason. If it's clear and I can't see anything, most likely the thief will continue on for some continue on to the next car. And the big important thing is if you see anyone acting suspiciously, looking, peeking into cars, trying door handles, you know they're up to no good. Call police, 911. And that is a 911 call. That's a 911. Because that person's on the move. So you need the officers to get there quickly because that person may be here one minute but somewhere else the next minute. So that's an emergency. Call 911. And another thing, I mean, we're really close to this department yeah. right now. Does that make it any different? No. Because you know what, you can simply, like, obviously because you're right behind police headquarters, it does make a little difference. But you know what, if it's a parking car and wallet areas, number one, be sure that the one thing is if you have an alarm system, activate it. If you have the club for the steering wheel, use it. If you have a garage, utilize the garage. How many garages are out there are full of other items and you can't fit your car in? So what you want to do is you want to clear your garage and put your put your car in the garage because out of sight, out of mind. And lastly, the most important thing is warm-up thefts. It's getting colder, people wake up in the morning, they don't want to go into a frozen car, so they turn it on, leave the car doors open, go into their house, get their belongings, go back to the car, to a nice warm car. But thieves know that, they canvas upscale neighborhoods looking for that, and then when you go into your house with the car running, doors are unlocked, you're invited them to take your car. And they take your car, they drive off, you return back, and you realize, hey, where's my car? It's an inconvenience, there's a cost factor to it as well, plus you've worked hard for your money, so no one has the right to touch your property. Thank you very You're much, welcome. Tony. Anytime. Have a good day.